Okay, now that we've finished inserting the records into the uh, sales records table, it's time for us to start writing some code. Now I'm gonna write the code using Eclipse. Like I told you before, you have to download the Eclipse IDE. I'm using Eclipse India, which is the Eclipse for Java EE developers. Then uh, when you launch Eclipse, it usually asks you for a workspace, except you have access to choose a default workspace and it shouldn't be asking you again. But mine, I didn't choose that because I'm cool with that. And then I'm going to use the workspace here. So the workspace is inside my sequence slash user slash Jefferson 7 x slash workspace. Now I'm going to click on OK. And the Eclipse will load the workspace for me. So here is my Eclipse environment. If you've used Eclipse before, you should be familiar with this environment. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new project in Eclipse. So to create a new Java project, I'm going to click on this icon here, which stands for new. And I'm going to say Java project to create a new Java project. Um, let's uh, call this project JDBC1. So I'm going to call this project JDBC1 by typing it uh, in the project name field. You have to specify project name. Now, my project is using the... Uh, uh, execution environment JRE, J Java SE 1.7 because that is the version of Java that I have. Um, you can have something higher or lower. You choose your Java runtime environment. And I'm going to click on next. And here is my project folder. You can see it has created a JDBC 1 project folder. And I have this SRC folder which is going to contain my source code. So I'm going to click on finish. And here I have my JDBC1 project folder. Now, one thing I need you to note, whenever you're doing any JDBC programming, you need a database driver. And since we are using um, my SQL, okay, in PHP Admin, we are using uh, my SQL. So I need to download the MySQL's uh, driver for JDBC, okay? So let's uh, go over to the internet and download the MySQL driver for JDBC. Oops, I already had the MySQL driver for JDBC. But you can go online and search on Google. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm going to go over to Google and search for MySQL JDBC driver. Uh, you can click on my scale JDBC driver download and you are gonna have some links here like this is a very nice link This will take you directly to the my scale JDBC driver read the instructions and download them I like to take a look at this web page and see what they are doing latest Okay, it's still looking the same way I left it uh, but no problem though um, again uh, take a look at it look for where the download is I think this is where it says so you can download the uh, MySQL driver now I want to show you how to use the MySQL driver on your Eclipse project so to use the MySQL driver you need to come to your project directory and then right click on the project directory in Eclipse and then you go to build path okay and then you say add libraries all right so when you click that uh, you need to note where the mysql driver jar file is it's actually a jar file so i'm gonna select user library and i'm gonna click on next and here is the mysql uh okay actually i created the library but i want to show you um i've created the library before so i want to show you how to create it because uh, um, I need to show you that. So in order to create a new library, let's assume there weren't any library at all here. What you need to do is that you click on these user libraries, okay? And then you click on new. Then they are gonna ask you for the library name. I'm gonna type uh, uh, whatever you wish to give the library name. But I'm gonna simply use my SQL-connector. Uh, I already have such a library it's warning me that it already exists. So I'm going to say MySQL Connector 2 just to explain to you how to add the JAR file into 
your project. So once you've created the library name, you need to select the library and then you click on Add Jazz. So when you click on Add Jazz, this is where my SQL connector, which I downloaded from the internet, is. Uh, actually, this my version is quite old. You can see I got it since 2006. But the problem, I'm gonna click on Open and then the library has been added to the MySQL connector library. So I'm gonna click on OK. And then I have this MySQL connector too. So again, like I told you, I've already done what I've just done, but I need to show you how to do it. So I'm gonna uh, remove this because I don't need it. So I'm gonna select that, then I, I'll say remove. Okay, and it's gone. So this is exactly the same thing as what I removed. I just didn't want those duplicates. So I'm asked to select the library. So I'll select the my SQL connector that I already had. Then I'm gonna click on finish. So once you do that, you've successfully added the MySQL JDBC driver to your project. The JDBC driver will enable all your Java programs, whatever JDBC Java programs that you're going to write, to be able to connect to the MySQL database. So you need that included in your project. So uh, until the next tutorial, I'll show you how to write a JDBC program.